This program is brought to you by IG. Trade over 12,000 shares and ETFs, including major tech giants with extended hours on an award-winning platform. IG, where traders are made. All right, stock of the day. I thought we'd take a look at Superloop, um, who gave a trading update this morning as it added over 45,000 new um, net new customers for the second half of FY24, in addition to the 34,100 added in the first half. Of course, that was through acquisitions. The underlying earnings is expected to be above the top end uh, of 51 to $53 million guidance range. Uh, FY cash capital expenditure on track for that 25 to 27 million range which includes $5 million in additional capex associated with that recent Origin and AGL contract wins. Um, Superloop, uh, anyone watching the last call on Friday afternoon? Anita tipped uh, Superloop as her stock that she thought would, uh, um, would really shoot the lights out in this half, hour, in this half year coming up. And Superloop came up last week with uh, Howard Coleman and and Grady Wolf, um, Grady had Superloop as a buy, Howard had it as a sell uh, because it hadn't made much money over the last five years. But uh, encouraging signs today, Philip. What do you think of the update? It was a good, a good announcement. I mean, they won a contract uh, with Origin uh, three months ago, and that's off to a cracker of a yep. start. And in part, that was the reason for the beat. Um, and they're doing very well at winning market share, and you can see that's reflected in the share price. Reminds me a little bit of Megaport. You know, once if you go back further, it was once a market darling, got absolutely smashed, and then now recovering, coming out the other side. And what's interesting, it used to be a well covered stock, uh, and now most of the analysts have dropped coverage. I guess they sort of um, didn't think it would ever recover. So if you have a look at that chart, it's now back above where it was sort of pre COVID levels. Um, I mean, great company, great infrastructure, winning market share, always, always good to keep an eye on stocks like this. It's yet had such a good run, and not that it's such a, not that it's an appropriate comparable, but it's much more expensive than Telstra, who's in a similar space, not as good, perhaps not as high quality, um, but as a sort of the only market metric, um, or one market metric compared to, just looking a bit rich for me, I would, I would take some money off the table at current levels, given that. Oh, you'd take profits? I would take profits. Right, so okay. I wouldn't call it a sell, I'd call it take profits, because it's had a good run, that was a trading update. Stock's up three or 4% today, not 10% or more, so the market was kind of expecting a good result you flagged some people mentioned it last week yeah for me you've had the market update I would uh, take profits and, and um, put money into something else okay Josh um, yeah obviously a really good update um, and, and the share price uh, reacting uh, as such it's yeah I think I think there is more upside to, to come from it wouldn't probably put it as a, as a buy but more a hold at these levels um, that white labeling with with origin Central to add another 150,000 uh, customers. So they're continuing to increase their market share. Um, it is up threefold just this year so far, so last six months, um, with a lot of noise around the sort of Aussie broadband um, uh, takeover offer. So maybe that's why sort of not, not many people are covering it. They probably thought it was going to get bought out and then that's, yep. that's yep. sort of come back in reverse. So obviously it's had that takeover offer, you know, sort of boost the share price. Um, not saying it's not justified, but it could be a little bit artificial in terms of you know where it's trading at right now. So I'd just be cautious. Um, I'd have it as a hold. It's a good fundamental update. Keep writing the upgrading guidance, um, but uh, yeah, wouldn't be adding at these levels. No. Okay. Um, good chart though. Mm, yeah. Can't that? Blame that. Um, no, so they've done well over the last six months or so. All right, super looper. That's our stock of the day. This program was brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. Trade over 17,000 markets with extended hours on key US shares and competitive spreads, all on an award-winning platform. IG, where traders are made.